What's good, YouTube? Hey, so I've had several people asking me about my camera setup, what I'm using now, kind of like the angles that I record from for my YouTube channel. So I figured today I'd go ahead and uh, give you guys some insight about how I record my uh, videos, even from what angles I cut from to get the best lighting for the best haircuts. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. All right, so first of all, I wanted to show you guys kind of like what angle I cut from. This is our front door, and obviously it's a big glass window, right? So for me, I always want the sun coming at my back. So lighting is always coming from my back towards the head. When I'm recording, I wanna make sure that I'm recording the same way with the light coming from the back of the camera. A lot of people take pictures or record videos right into the light. So if you notice, I have my ring light right here with where my camera's set up. And, uh, and whenever you turn the light on, it totally causes a glare to come, you know, on the camera and the screen. And then because this light is lighting up, uh, you know, the camera lens, it's gonna make your subject dark. So you wanna make sure that the haircut looks as quality as possible. So you have to turn it and make sure the light is behind you. But if you look right here, I have my ring light. And I also have another light. And then the mirror is right here. So that's the mirror, this is my chair. All right, so this angle right here for me is the best because I have my ring light and camera right here. All right, so the window is behind this ring light and it's behind the camera. So I have natural sunlight coming in here, my natural lighting. But I also enhance it with my ring light. So I have the ring light coming and just so you know, right where my hand is is about where the person's head would be if the chair was all the way down right so anyways my lighting from the ring light is hitting this angle from over one shoulder and then this light right here it's coming from a different angle so literally i have this kind of like cone shape that i'm standing in over both of my shoulders pointing towards the head so I'm lighting the head up from one angle, I'm lighting the head up from a different angle, and then right over this shoulder right here, I actually have my camera. So while I'm cutting just like this, I can flip my screen out on my camera. And if you can see right here, I have my screen here, and I can just glance over to make sure that it's focused on, on the person I'm, I'm uh, cutting. Now with this, uh, if you're wondering what camera I'm using, I'll talk more about it in just a minute, but I'm using the Canon 90D uh, for the 4K quality, and I'm using the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens. And the reason I have this lens is because you can zoom in and you can zoom out. But it has 1.8 aperture, which means that's the blurry background most zoom lenses you don't get the blurry background because the aperture isn't you know strong enough or whatever 1.8 is a great aperture it gives you that nice blurry background but the cool thing is most zoom lenses if you can get a decent uh, blur at one length as you adjust the length then you get no blur at all with this lens you can get the blur whether it's zoomed all the way in or zoomed all the way out it is like a $700 lens, but in my uh, mind, it's, it's a great investment, right? So anyways, but I can go ahead and look at my, my uh, screen over here. And then I can just adjust it how I need to, you know, the settings, whether it be touching the screen or just adjusting the lens to do a manual focus or autofocus, whatever. And I can just cut right here. So literally... It's right here. That's why sometimes though, I'll get in front of it on accident because I'm more focused on the head instead of recording. 
and my shoulder might get in the way, but I try to turn in a way where I'm facing the client, where the camera is, you know, I'm not in the way of the client, and I'm right here cutting the head with lighting on both sides of me. And that's something when recording a video, you wanna make sure that your lighting is on point. There again, if you have lighting like this over your shoulder, but then you got a big window in front of you, this camera is going to cast a shadow on your subject and it's just gonna blur out, uh, you know, it's just gonna cause your video to be messed up because you have that lighting uh, shining into your lens. So that's kind of the angle I shoot from. Now let's talk about, you know, how I have everything set up. All right, so I have this arm that's actually designed to hold, say, a ring light. I have it screwed parallel uh, next to my mirror, and I have the arm coming all the way out. And obviously, as you can see, on the end of the arm, I have my camera, and I also have my ring light. Now, I will say this, that at the end of this pole, where my camera is, or the end of this arm, where the camera is mounted to, that screw on the end of that is actually designed to mount your ring light, which looks really cool. However, I needed something to hold my camera so that my stand wasn't you know, on the floor. So I don't like recording with a camera stand all up around my feet and tripping over it and everything else. So basically what I did is I just took one of the little ball heads, uh, you know, that you can adapt to your camera and put on a tripod or something. And I just simply took it and this thing right here, I went ahead and unscrewed it from my tripod and I screwed it to uh, the end of this arm. I still need my light. So I went ahead and just kind of rigged my, my light with some black zip ties. So that way I can adjust my light in different angles. Um, however, if I'm not in the mood to say adjust my camera, whenever I am you know, trying to uh, zoom in to the customer that's in the chair right here, what I'll do is being this arm moves and it rotates and all those wonderful things, what I'll do is simply, I'll stand here cutting hair and I can just move the camera closer or I can move the camera farther away. If I wanna you know, pull it way back, I can move it way back here. If I wanna zoom into their head, look, boom, I can zoom right there. So anyways, the lighting is plenty bright enough, whether it's back further or it's up closer, to do what I want. If I'm trying to get different angles of haircuts, if I don't want to disconnect the camera from the actual stand, which is very easy, being I put the little ball head on there, all I have to do is unscrew this and boom, we're, we're ready to roll. So I like this arm feature in the way I have it set up, it looks it looks like it's rigged, you know. I did use black zip ties, so it's not, you know, too bad of an eyesore. But for me, it gets the job done, and, you know, I'll try to find something prettier to make it work better. But this helps me because it keeps the camera, uh, the tripod, rather, out of the way. Because what I found is to get the right angle sometimes, I would need the camera a little bit closer, which meant I had to move this big tripod a lot closer. We also would use monopods, but this camera's a little bigger, it's heavier, and I just don't want to risk dropping, you know, a $1,500 camera with a $700 lens, you know, with this little skinny monopod that it's sitting on with no, barely no legs to support it at all. I just don't want to risk knocking it over. So for me, this carries a lot of weight. I can just stick it in in the morning, and what I do is, uh, in order to keep recording, instead of buying multiple batteries, I bought one battery. I mean, I have a few different batteries, but I bought like a dummy battery, um, which actually plugs into the wall. 
So the battery goes in there, it has a little outlet on it, and I just plug my cord into that, and I have power all day long. I don't have to worry about changing out batteries or things like that. Another thing that you have to worry about when recording oftentimes Sorry about that. Anyways, another thing that you have to worry about when recording oftentimes is, uh, you know, am I gonna run out of not just battery, but am I going to run out of storage uh, for my video files? So what I did is I went and bought at least 200, and I think it's 256 gigs or whatever um, on, on my little SD card, and I put it in there. So with 258 or 56, gigs uh, on my SD and this power uh, adapter, dude, I can record 4K all day with literally no problem. I mean, literally, and have plenty of room to take pictures and things like that. Something else I want to talk about, the challenge that I found, though, with using this adapter is that I do have to turn my camera upside down. So right now, you're seeing my camera upside down in this adapter but when I'm looking in the screen when I'm looking at the client in the screen I'm still seeing what the lens is seeing at the moment so it's not like my customers flipped upside down I'm seeing them right side up but it is recording upside down so whenever I take out my SD card and I upload it to my computer or my iPad or whatever everything is upside down so all you have to do is you know flip it right side up in post and then edit it so the first thing i do is i take out my sd card i stick it in my ipad and i put it or my you know macbook pro or whatever and then i just uh you know flip everything and then i edit it like normal i hope that answered the questions that you guys were looking for um, if you have more questions, let me know. I'll be happy to share, uh, you know, any information that I have with you. And, you know, uh, you know, there's been several people that, you know, they may get upset with YouTube barbers in general. And they'll say something like, hey, man, you know, the, the game is to be sold, not told. You know, stop giving out all the nuggets for free. And the reason I do what I do is because... I've spent hours doing research on, on YouTube, on Amazon, on Google. I mean, I'm just researching everything, trying to find what would work best for me to get the kind of quality that I want, uh, you know, to make my life a little bit easier. And the reality is, man, I wish I had someone that, you know, would share these nuggets with me. And you know what? There's some things I've learned from other YouTubers that made my life so much easier. And I was like, man, you know, like I'm so thankful this person made this video. And I feel like, you know, you need to pass that on. You know what I mean? And another truth I live my life by is what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. When you are, you know, constantly living your life to pour into people, to be a blessing to people, man, it comes back to you. So there again, if you have any questions at all, about anything, uh, you know, hit me up. I'll do what I can. And while I'm here, I just want to give y'all a surprise, a little peek of uh, something that came in the mail. I'm excited about it, and I'm going to be testing it out, and I'll get back to you guys. Yes, sir. So, God bless you guys. Until next time, I'm out.